The London to which Shakespeare was heading was the largest city in Europe, with a population of well over 100,000 people, and yet by today's standards, it was tiny, covering an area of little more than one square mile. Having entered London via one of the gates, young William would, no doubt, have drawn his breath at the sight that greeted his eyes. The River Thames flowed through the heart of the city. Ships that had travelled the world moored on its waters. Sailors would offload exotic cargoes from the new worlds. Dominating the north bank of the Thames was St Paul's Cathedral, rising majestically over a city of narrow streets lined with timber-framed houses and shops. One bridge spanned the great river, on which grand houses had been erected. The heads of executed criminals leered down upon those who entered the city over the bridge, a gruesome reminder of the fate that awaited the lawbreaker. Further down the river, the Tower of London dwarfed the houses around it. There, behind the grim grey walls, those who had offended against the Queen or the state languished, their heart-rending cries often audible in the streets outside as they awaited their fate, a public execution, or a silent murder carried out under cover of darkness as the city slept. <laughs> 